Yo, 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 it's the delivery man. Got this parcel for you right here. Oh yeah, thanks mate. Yeah, 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 no worries. I heard your beats. I'll subscribe, you know. Oh wow, look at this, got these Jordans. Let's go. God, it's only an NPC. Yes, I got an NPC. It's the NPC 500. Not sure when it's from. I'll check, I don't know. I got it from a guy in France. Not sure why he packaged it in an Air Jordans box. Today, I was thinking, you know, hook it all up, try and get it working, and then try and make a quick little rhythm beat. I don't know. I did have a power cable for it, but it's kind of the wrong specs. Because it's portable, you can also use batteries with it. We need to plug it all in. I've got these two cables here with the connectors on. This doesn't need a computer, so I've got the screen turned off. Yeah, I'll show you where I've connected it in, all in the back, so just hold on. I've got these two red and white cables coming in here to tape input two. I've got my computer coming in in input one, and so this is going into input two. All we gotta do here is, as you can see, switch it to T2, and then we're good to go. What we're gonna do is mode, and then load. I've set up this drum kit here, but we might use a few of those. You can preview them by pressing the play button here. I'm gonna press do it, assign to pad A1. There we go, then get the next one loader. So let's just get a drum pattern down. We'll set the tempo to about 90. So we wanna go to a track here. And A1, this is so you can kind of control uh, each different instrument, I guess. So we're gonna put the hi-hat on A1. So that's here. We go time and correct one eighth, no swing. You can press a note repeat to get it going like one. Like that. So then we're gonna go, we have to set how long it's gonna be. So we go parameters, sequence loop, change it to four. Let's do it. Go back to tracks, record it. Do the snare. So if we make sure we go overdub and then I like to do the kick on 12 levels. That's the highest level. And then it gets quieter, kind of like a velocity thing. If you want to do horns, maybe you could do an echo effect, get some dynamics in there. All right, cool, sounding good. Sound good. So obviously there we've got the drum break set. Now I kind of want to put like a little sample. I'm just going to get one from my computer and then we'll put it in here to see what we can chop up with. I've got the drums on pad bank A. I'm going to assign the sample to pad bank B. So let's go with that. What I'm going to do, go back into sequence. Then I'm going to go mode load because we want to load a sample. So it's sample here. A bit time consuming, but you know. Okay, so now I've got all the samples on each pad. So if we go back to sequence again. Go back into track, we're gonna put this on track six because we don't want it to mess with the drums. Just record it over. Cool. All right, so what I've done now is I've got the sample, I've, I've messed with it a bit, I've changed down the pitch. Mm -hmm. And I've also kind of done a little tweaking to the drums and I've slowed it down and this is what we've got. We've got All right, so here's the track that I came up with. I hope you enjoyed that, that was my first go of making a beat with the MPC 500. I think after a couple, two days of having it, I've learned, as I said at the start, I've learned obviously more than I, I did before. I've managed to make a drum beat, 
uh, chop ups and samples. Yeah, I guess the next videos I might do a couple of drum drum break sampling, but then hopefully we can just come up with more beats. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.